He comes back in again up to the stumps. Bowls. Oh, always bowled him. Was that an inside edge onto the stumps? Chopped on, I think, yeah. Rymel goes, cutting, trying to cut hard through the offside. Inside edge onto the stumps. Buck up to the stumps again. Bowls to uh, Kushi. Pulls that way in the leg side. There's a fielder employed, but it's over his head. He's caught that beautifully, Kushi. Right out of the middle of the bat. Initially, the fielder down at the deep... Uh, backward square leg looks as if he might be interested but the ball just kept travelling from the David Capel end bowling to Feroz Kushi who pulls away for a single it's just going to be one down to deep square but that brings him his 50 well batted Feroz Kushi 50 off 40 balls just trying to keep himself loose I think there's a Russell Bowles that's pushed into the offside there's at least one there they might think about coming back for two yep they will come back for two that's nicely placed by Wesley actually there's two fielders out there in the chase, but it was just to the, too far to the left. Round the wicket again. Flighted up, driven by Wesley, and that's gone a long way, to be precise. It's gone into the seats at the front of the Spencer Pavilion for six. A couple of days ago, North Hampshire's fielding being found wanting again, driven this time by Kushi. And just to add insult to injury, that has gone over the top of Rob Keogh. Comes in here. Bowls right over as Cushy whips this one away into the leg side. A fist punch as well as he runs down uh, towards the pavilion and a jump in the air as well. He acknowledges the crowd, acknowledges his teammates, and Cushy goes through for another well constructed 100. Sunday afternoon here in Northampton. Russell in again bowls to Wesley, who's caught at short extra cover. And Northamptonshire have caught one at last. Signal box of the new pavilion as Russell's in again bowls short and it's pulled away to deep square and he's going to be caught and he is caught and Russell strikes again it was a little bit of a drag down Cushy with that injured leg he's swinging at everything he swings again that's pulled away is that going to be caught it is down at deep mid wicket Will Young didn't quite get it square enough and Will Young big crowd in driven by Das and he's caught an extra cover by Will Young Taylor, 12 on his back, charging up to the stumps, right arm over. That's a punch away, crunched over deep backward cover for six, I think that was. Yeah. As far as, in every respect, as far as 50 over cricket's concerned. And Buttleman's bowled. This time he again tried to give himself a little bit of room as he did before. That which your point of view would be the case at York. His buck in again bowls, chipped up to extra cover and caught. So those are the seventh wicket and pointed up the danger that Essex are in, David. Around the wicket to Nijar. Short, pulled away. Is he going to be caught by Emilio Gay? Yes, it's a super catch by Emilio Gay. Coming in off the boundary. We said how well he's done. Very hard out there today, as you say. Back in again, both full this time. On driven, and that is going to be caught. That is caught at long on. Here comes uh, Buck. Right arm over up to the stumps. Swings away into the leg side. Now, is that going to clear the field? I think it might be. Gay came in a little bit too... Close, about 10 yards in. There's a buck bowl. That's a big swipe into the leg side. A thickish inside edge. It's going to go down towards fine leg. They're going to come back for a second run. The throw comes in and Richards gets back there. Come to be nice little cameo that from Richards. 26 off 25 for him. Essex finish on 343 for nine. Starting proceedings from the David Capel end. Bowls to Ricardo Vasconcelos, who's playing that back down the pitch for... Here comes Beard, number 14 on his back. He's got like a, a tubular grip around his elbow. That's driven away, a cut away through the offside in between the two fielders covering uh, backward point and cover. In now, right arm over up to stumps, the left-handed Gay leading edge, caught at mid-on, and that's the first wicket down. And Gay just trying to turn that away into the leg side, caught a leading edge. As this uh, next delivery wraps, oh, has he bowled him? He's bowled him. He's bowled him. That's the second wicket to fall. Full length delivery from Beard. A bit more of a chance here as Nijar in again bowls to save save. Turns that into the onside and the bowler himself has to scamper away to field. And that is 50 for save save. A half century for the left hander. That we've been talking quite a bit about as Nijar comes in, bowls short to Young, who's pulled that for half a dozen and it's hit the top of the old scoreboard building. Midway mark, which I think is where they'll take the drinks anyway. Flatter from Wesley, turned away into the leg side. Aaron Beard comes charging in from deep mid wicket. It'll just be the single, but it is the 50 up for Will Young. 50 off 51 deliveries. As Richards comes in, bowls to Zabe, short, and he's pulled that away for six. 
gone behind square. Again, I don't think he quite got hold of all of it, but on strike to Aaron Beard. And he's gone aerial, and he's got hold of plenty of that. And is that going just think, drop inside the line yet? Yeah, signalled as four. Well, in fact, the umpire signalled it as six. Wesley is in, bowls to Zabe. And he cuts that away, and that's his first list A100. It goes down to deep backward point. They'll come back for the second for good measure. The throw comes in, and that's 100 for safe Zabe. Came close in the T20 earlier this season, and now in the Royal London Cup. They're way a little bit here, Essex. Flatter down the ground this time. That's punched long. Is there anyone back there? That's six as well. Into the ring. Beard in. Bowls to Zabe, who's smeared that away over extra cover. That is huge. My goodness, he's hit that, he's hit that a very, very long way. Plenty of work to do. As Young comes down the pitch to his first ball and clonks it onto the road for six. Well... Sajid Zabe's been in touch, so again, Sajid, hope you're enjoying it. Big appeal for OBW, and he's out. And that's the breakthrough that Essex needed. Snater, up to Sump's ball. Keo, oh, there's an OBW appeal. That's close, he's gone. And suddenly, one brings two. Yeah, Keo trying to work it away through the leg side. It looked close from up here. We in a portion of the bat up to mid-wicket. Need you around the wicket again. Bowls to McManus, who's had enough of this and has swatted it down the ground for six. Straight back over the bowler's head. In particular, has been in really good form of late as Richards bowls to him. He's going to be caught, and he is caught. Well, there's the commentator's curse for you. Beard in. Bowls to Taylor, who swings away. That's up in the air. Will it be caught? It will be caught yes that's an excellent catch by Kushi. the first real shot in anger by taylor the problem it was now snate around the wicket bowls to zabe he's gone aerial now is it going to go all the way or is he going to be caught it's gone all the way for six and it's bounced up richard's in that swung away into the leg side he's not got all of that that's going to be a catch of all height and it is caught and uh, zabe goes for 136 318 for seven. Nathan Buck on strike. Snater in, bowls to him. Buck's gone aerial. Is it going to clear long off? It is going to clear long off for six. And the happy hacker comes to the party. Sails on strike. Here comes Beard. Bowls. That's turned away into the leg side and it's well stopped at mid wicket, but they will run through for a single. And that's an excellent win from Northants. A fabulous game of cricket.